Okay, so somebody asked me, I was just wearing a pair of glasses on the on the video call, and um, like Hawkins doesn't, he, um, so what happened with Hawkins? He was, of course, a miracles teacher who used to wear glasses. And one day, one of his course in miracles students um, said to him, how is it you're canceling all your illnesses and they're all going and you're still wearing glasses? So he, he um, and then he came to him, yeah, you know, I, I could cancel my belief in blindness. So he decided there and then, uh, with the decision was made to just not wear his glasses anymore at that point. And he just handed over to God completely even though I think he had trifocals, so he'd been on his, these heavy glasses for all his life. And it was quite mystical. He reported what happened, um, as some of you know, who are Hawks and students. He, he couldn't really see anything, and he had to drive home through the mountains in Sedona, which are very dangerous. It's easy just to drive off the cliff, really, as you're driving back. But he decided he just wouldn't wear his glasses uh, on the way. And what happened was just as he would get to the edge of the road, he'd be able to see so that he'd be able to turn off and not sort of go off the cliff. And also he wasn't able to read anything, but when he came to the, when it came to the Course in Miracles, I think, yeah, the Course in Miracles, suddenly his vision would be, would be able to read the Course in Miracles, but nothing else. So he went through a period of two weeks of testing to see whether he would have faith. You know, he, sometimes he was blind as a bat, and sometimes when he needed to read something or see something, just at the point he needed it, it would happen, and then his vision would be removed. So it went on like that for two weeks, and he didn't wear his glasses. And after two weeks, like a miracle, his vision came back uh, without glasses. <clears throat> he was able to see perfectly after a two week of almost um, faith, faith that anything that he needed essentially would be revealed to him which did happen and then he got his vision back perfectly he didn't have to wear his glasses so one of the people here asked me Sabir why are you wearing glasses and talking about the course of miracles in casting beliefs why haven't you cancelled it it's a brilliant question uh, the answer to the question is very easy it's like um so I to cancel I had kidney failure gout and asthma uh, at the height of my illnesses coming off addiction. To cancel my belief in kidney failure, I was doing that for five years and feel the feelings, and then it cleared and disappeared and I got a transplant. I canceled my belief in gout, it took three years. Uh, uh, and, uh, and then after three years, the gout attack stopped and they discharged me from the clinic. Uh, the asthma took also three years. I was going to an asthma clinic at hospital regularly. And then after three years of just canceling belief in asthma, uh, they they measured my lung capacity. Said your breathing your breathing is absolutely fine now. Uh, you don't need to come here. We're discharging you. So I got discharged from the um, the asthma clinic. I got discharged from the gout rheumatology clinic. As I just kept, but it took me three years to cancel those beliefs. And I have a number of beliefs I cancel every day. And there's lots of beliefs I could cancel. Like I, I'm bald. I could cancel my belief in baldness. You know, but I can't be bothered to cancel my belief in baldness. I'm not, I'm not willing, I've got other things more important to cancel in life. Uh, and I've got, so my vision, I wear glasses, they're quite easy to wear. Uh, it might take, I mean, if I look at my experience, it might take me, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to cancel them. I don't wanna spend the time canceling them. You know, it's not a priority. I mean, to get a pair of glasses, it doesn't, it, doesn't, it takes a few minutes. and uh, And to cancel them, uh, is going to take me a lot of time, which I need to spend on other things. So that's the reason I'm not even cancelling my my belief in glasses right now, because it's like when you've got bigger problems, you uh, cancel those first. And if they're minor problems and I can live with them, uh, I just will uh, not be bothered by by doing that the heavy work necessary. So that's the answer on that one. Thank you for asking me. You know, or otherwise I could just cancel my belief in boldness and cancel my belief in, in all kinds of stuff.